The market is beginning to shift, but are we headed back to a more balanced real estate market or is the market going to crash? Stay tuned until the end of the video and you'll find out. If you enjoy this type of content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for all things San Francisco. What's up YouTube, my name is Andres Restrepo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we have a lot to unpack. As you are all aware by now, mortgage interest rates have been on the rise and they've skyrocketed since 2022 by about 50% since the beginning of the year. This is all coming at a time in which inflation is running rampant and the Federal Reserve is doing everything it can to keep it under control. Now, to add fuel to the fire, this is all happening at the same time that the stock market and the crypto market aren't looking too hot. So what does that mean for the real estate market in San Francisco? A shift is upon us. If you've been following the channel for any length of time, you know that in San Francisco, we see the most amount of overbidding in the spring. Though that's held true this year, we're also starting to see something that we normally never see this time of year, and that would be price drops. We are seeing a noticeable amount of price drops as of March, 2022. To give you a quick summary of what I'm seeing as a real estate agent here in San Francisco, let's talk about the two most common property types that are bought and sold in the city. Single family homes are as hot as ever. Despite the rise in rates, San Francisco has a fixed supply of single family homes and everybody seems to want one. Despite everything going on right now, we are still seeing multiple offers for single family homes in the city. And the very desirable ones are getting crazy amounts of numbers. I just had a colleague of mine who listed a home in Noe Valley and it sold $2 million above ask. Insane. Now that takes us over to the condo market. Condos are a mixed bag. Some condos are still getting multiple offers and going considerably above ask, while others are sitting on the market and selling at or below ask. The segment of the market that is feeling the rise in rates the most is gonna be those buyers under $2 million. So in most instances, these are the properties that may not be receiving multiple offers on the offer date or any offers at all. In conclusion, the market's not gonna crash, at least from my point of view. I'm beginning to see a shift towards a more balanced market. We know that rates will likely continue to rise and it might put us in a recession. My prediction is that the market will flatten out, we'll have a recession that may last two to three quarters, maybe in the second half of 2022, and we'll see considerable dips both in the stock and crypto market, which may translate over into the real estate market. The Fed will inevitably be forced to lower rates again, and the cycle will start all over again. So should you buy a home in 2022? Only if it makes sense for you. And this means that you should be thinking about owning for at least five years. You should have 10 to 20% to put down, and you should also have a six to 12 month emergency fund with a stable job. Market cycles are perfectly normal and buying within your means and holding long-term will allow you to weather any potential downturn in the real estate market. I hope you found value from this content. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.